continuing with our thesis statement from the previous modules, although animals should be respected, it is ethical to experiment on animals if the result is cures for diseases like cancer, AIDS, and Alzheimer's. Here are the results for a search, an academic search complete for animal testing in quotation marks and ethics. Let's look at some of the results and apply the evaluation criteria discussed at the beginning of this module. Authority, the expertise or credentials of the authors, bias objectivity, the point of view taken in the source, currency, the age of information, and context, how the information is presented. Is it meant to inform, persuade, etc.? This search returned about 300 results, much fewer than the millions of results from a Google search. This highlights one of the big differences between library databases and the web. Library databases primarily contain articles which were published in newspapers, magazines, academic journals, and trade publications. These types of periodicals were discussed in the second module of the course. This makes the scope of information in library databases much more limited than the web, where people and groups can quickly create and publish information. Some topics may have much less coverage in library databases than on the web. However, periodicals go through either an editing process for popular periodicals or a peer review process for academic journals, so the quality of the information you find in a library database may be much better than web sources. The icon on the left side of each item tells you something about the type of article. You will see either academic journal or periodical. The first item is from the magazine Scientific American, while the second item is from the academic journal Environmental Health Perspectives. You can also see an abstract or summary of an article by hovering your mouse over the icon of a sheet of paper and magnifying glass on the right side of the article information. This can help you start to select articles to evaluate more fully. The first article appears to be an editorial letter, and you can tell from the link that it is only one page. The second article is longer, at six pages, so let's take a look at it. If a PDF is available, click on the link to read it. The PDF may have charts and graphics that may be omitted from the HTML version of the text. Starting with authority, we can see that the authors of this article are listed at the top. Academic journal articles tend to have more authors than magazine articles because in academic settings, groups of individuals work collaboratively on research. Notice that under the author's names is German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, Center for Alternative Methods to Animal Experiments, Berlin, Germany. The authors are affiliated with this organization, and affiliation may help you to understand more about author expertise. At the bottom of the first page is contact information for the authors. In academic journals, sometimes you will even find individual authors' educational information listed. Also, look at the level of writing in the article. Academic journal articles will use technical language understood by the authors and readers, while newspapers and magazines will use more general language. There is also a list of references used by the authors to write the article. This shows their ability to research the issue. What if this was a magazine article with only one author and no information provided about their background? You can still make some assumptions. The author is most likely a journalist, and while they may not be an expert on the subject matter they are writing about, they have the skills to research and assemble information. However, you will probably not see a list of references at the end of a magazine article. There may just be references in the text of the article to people the author interviewed. When examining bias, consider both the point of view the authors are taking and the point of view of the publication where the article appears. In many academic journal articles, original research is being conducted. Because of this, the authors will present their hypothesis early in the article, and this will help you understand their bias. In this article, we can see a summary at the top of the page, and the discussion and conclusion states, here we suggest an in vitro only approach for regulatory testing that will benefit consumers, industry, and regulators alike. You may have heard the term in vitro before, but are unsure of the definition. 
This is another characteristic of academic journals, the use of technical language. There's nothing wrong with looking up the meaning of words from academic journal articles if you're not sure. In vitro means taking place in a test tube instead of within a living organism. So the authors are biased towards promoting research in this method as opposed to the use of animals for research. It turns out that this does not fit our thesis, but we will talk about that more in a moment. You can also understand bias through finding out more about the publication where the article appears. This is especially true for magazines and newspapers where periodicals can be considered liberal, conservative, or balanced. Depending on the leaning of the periodical, the authors may cover an event much differently. It's usually much easier determining the currency of library database articles than information on the web. Periodicals publish at regular intervals, so articles will include some form of publication date. This article was published in 2012, but notice that it was submitted to the journal in 2011. For some research-based articles, there may be years between the submission and publication dates. This is because academic journal articles go through a peer review process where the information is evaluated for accuracy before it is published. Magazines and newspapers go through a less intense editorial process. This is necessary because magazines and newspapers report on current events, so their information needs to get to readers quickly. The focus of your research will determine the age of information you use. Finally, let's look at the context. The audience for this article is researchers and experts in the medical field. The article is meant to both inform and persuade. However, the authors are using facts to make a point instead of emotional appeals. Overall, the credibility of the authors and the fact this article is from an academic journal are good. However, their perspective does not match that of our thesis. We may be able to use information from this article if we discuss a counter-argument to our thesis. The age of information may be problematic since it goes back to 2011. All of these are factors in deciding whether or not to use this article in a paper.